Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a short one. Today I am going to show you how to pause or freeze the particles in Blender. This would be helpful in a scenario where you want to freeze raindrops in midair or something like that. I am using Blender 3.3 but this should work in earlier versions as well. So let's get started. I am just going to set up a very basic emitter particle system on a plane. Now there are two ways to get the desired effect of stopping the particles. Here is method 1 which is a bit dirty and only works well if the particles are not focused on or the scene is moving. Let's say I want to freeze the particles at frame 100. So I will move to frame 99, uh, go into physics, integration and the property I need is the time step which is 0.04 by default in my case. I am going to hover my mouse over it and hit the I key on the keyboard to keyframe this property. Now move on to the next frame and change the value to 0, hit I again to keyframe this and you're done. Now when you play this animation, you can see the rain stopping at frame 100. Now I'll show you why this is dirty. If you zoom in, you can actually see that the particles are still moving albeit very very slowly. The reason this is happening is because the time step has not become exactly 0. Blender automatically deems you to be an idiot and sets the time step as 0.0001 even though you entered 0. And since it is not 0, there is still some movement. Anyway, not that we care. Now for the second method. This method requires caching the particle system on the disk and editing it. So go ahead and save the blend file otherwise it won't let you save the cache to disk. In the cache section, check disk cache and then bake. The cache gets saved in the same folder as your blend file. So remember the frame you want the particles to freeze at. Open the cache folder. Delete all the files after that frame number. Go back to Blender, reset the timeline and uncheck and check the disk cache toggle so that Blender realizes that the disk cache has changed. And with any luck, you should have a perfectly frozen particle system at your disposal. I'd love to see what you come up with using this. Do let me know if there's a better way to do it. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.